Hello and welcome to this tutorial on converting GE's Logic Master 90 DOS software and converting it to their latest Prophecy Machine Edition version 9. Today we'll go through just a very quick example program that we've got here in an old uh, 9030 series. Now the program's roughly about 15 years old, it was written in DOS and of course with modern day technology we're utilizing Windows, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 etc. So um, a couple of the key steps to follow in the LM90 software, Logic Master 90, um, is ensuring that the folder is actually backed up before you do a, an import into the new software. So in this particular case, um, Shift F8 is going to get us to our folder. We do so create folder, delete. In our case, we want to back up current folder. So F4, we nominate the directory where it's going to go to. So in this case, it'll be there under um, LM90 temp1 backup. Once that's been done, we copy and paste it onto our um, host PC. So in my case, I'm running on a virtual machine, running Windows 98. So it's about the last version of Windows that you'll get where LM90 will still run um, without any problems. So we'll go across to our GE um, software. Now, this is Prophecy Machine Edition version 9. So we'll right mouse click on my computer. We'll go New Project. We'll call this one LM90 Demo. We'll base it on RX3i, but we'll convert that in a second to the existing system, and then we'll reconvert back to an RX3i. So we'll go through the full process so you can see exactly what's needed. So target one at the minute is an RX3i. So let's go right mouse click. We go import, and we also pick up the old Simplicity Control and Versa Pro. But today we're talking about Logic Master um, folders, so we'll click on there. You'll see here's one I prepared earlier, so LM folder, this is for the exact DOS program you saw just a moment ago. It's asking us to destroy the current project file, which basically means we're just going to delete any hardware and config, so we'll say yes to that. Okay, so let's expand out our hardware. We've now got our um, IC 693CHS391, so that's our standard 10 slot backplane. And you can see that it's imported the CPU, the PCM card, which is actually a um, coprocessor module that this particular processor had. It's also got all the I.O. cards that have come across straight away. So it's actually picked up the full hardware configuration. If we minimize that and go to our logic blocks, you'll see it's also picked up all of our main programs. So in this particular case, it's picked up every program block that was there or all logic that was created. So not only has it done our hardware configuration, it's done our logic, and it's also brought across all of the tags as well. So if we wanted to now modernize this um, bit of PLC hardware, especially because the 9030s have now hit mature status, so uh, very common for us to be converting these to RX3Is, all we need to do for that process is we click back on the target, top left-hand corner here, then we go to our inspector, Keep in mind that the inspector window does move depending on where you've docked it. So in my particular case, I've got it docked on the right-hand side. It may be on the bottom left-hand corner depending on how you've configured that. So now we click on our family. We make it RX3i. Let's just, um, just make this window a little bit wider here so we can actually see the text. So at the moment it's 9030. We're going to convert that to an RX3i. So it's just asking us if we want to continue. So we'll say yes to that. So it's just doing our conversion of, obviously, all the logic, all of the hardware is getting ported across. So if we now double-click on our main, so here's our new RX3i code. Only in one main block in this particular case, and that was how the 9030 was programmed originally. So modern days, you'd now be adding multiple program blocks to, to break out your logic into, uh, into functional elements. In this particular case, it's one big block. If we go back to our hardware, it's, oh, it's good to see we've got a couple of red crosses here, so we've got a couple of configs that have changed. If we have a look at our um, CPE, this particular processor has on board um, Ethernet, one of the first PLCs in the market to get gigabit Ethernet. So in this particular case, let's clear these errors. And the first error is going to be our IP address, so we'll set that up to uh, something standard. Oops, that clears our Ethernet error. We'll clear our Profinet error as well. The reason for that is the Profinet defaults um, memory space is percent %i1. We don't particularly use this when we get into our programming, but it's just the, the default uh, memory allocation in the background. 
this particular case because we've got existing IO we'll set this back up in the in the 500 region it grabs the next available so 505 and you'll now see that all the other errors have now cleared on those slots and that's because the IO ports start at percent I1 um, and, and that's always been the case even on the old 9030s so now we've ported a, a, you know, a program that's probably approximately about 15, 16 years old that was written in DOS, and we've been able to fairly quickly, in you know, just over five minutes, convert that into our latest software. So thank you for listening. If you've got any questions, please give Contrologic a call at any time. Thank you.